I came from Europe, from my country, from Croatia, after civil war in former Yugoslavia. I, I came here for better life for my kids. I like fight. I, I, I want to show what I can do. What I can do the best. I grew up in Bosnia, but Bosnia has one part in Klav Croatian, Croatian part. We have hard, very hard civil war in former Yugoslavia, in Croatia, in Bosnia. I lost many, many good friends. I am always thinking about that. Uh, my husband was in the military and that's his life, that's his job and he was in the prison of war and for 13 months in that time. For, I only have my oldest daughter and uh, when he was there, I don't know nothing about him actually. We don't know nothing about him for the 12 months. After 12 months, we get a good word that he's alive and where he is and everything else. I was in war all the time. I was officer. I, I have a high honor medal from my war, war president in that time. But after war, like, Every war is broke, economy, everything is broke. And I was thinking in that time, maybe it's the best for my family, for my kids. Try, try life in USA. Is I have to be honest with you, was hard. When you come somewhere where you don't have family, you don't have the friends. And that time I have to treat my kids and we don't know where we go. I don't speak English, my husband doesn't speak English, my kids doesn't speak English. I say, I just put whole family in the God hand and we ended in the New York. We stay over in the New York for overnight and tomorrow morning they transport us in Portland and that's where we stay for all 16 years. Oh, I, I, I was confused with that. We have problem with language, with everything, but step by step, kids learn faster than Adult people. I mean, I, I, I love Croatia. I know I'm Croatian, but I, I grew up here. I was raised here, and they left their friends, their family, the homeland. They didn't know a word of English. They came over here with the clothes on their back, pretty much, in pursuit of a better life for my sisters and I, and I'm eternally grateful, and um, I love them very much. It is hard because we, we have big family, my side and my husband's side, big family in the Croatia and Austria. We left everything behind just for the good future for the kids. And it was hard for us, but you just have to be strong and believe what you're doing. And, and that's where we end now. Slika kad sam imao 20 godina. In this photo he was 20 years old. Počeo sam trenirati sa 16 godina. He started training karate when he was 16 years old. Sad imam 56. He's 56 years old now, so he's been doing it about 40 years. 40 years. In the North American Grappling Association from 2009 to 2010, he's actually considered the world champion. It was a two-day tournament. He had about four fights to win this. And he finished first and actually won it. This, uh, this here is signed by the president at the, at the time during the war. This is for everyone, anyone, who, any soldier or veteran now who participated in the war. And this is one of the highest uh, awards a man in the military can achieve. It's also signed by the. It's also signed by the president. These are his two best friends during the war. Then one died. This man right here was 24 years old when he died, and the one in the photo down here was 22. He actually made my name off a combination of theirs. So these were his, these were his two childhood friends. He knew them forever. So it was very hard for Rudy Lawson. I started in martial arts like start karate long time ago. And when I came to the USA, a uh, couple of friends from my country, they told me for Chain Institute, 
I saw the boxing, kickboxing, karate, everything, but I saw the grappling, jiu-jitsu. In, in my country, we did the judo and uh, wrestling, and I told myself I must learn, I must do ground fight, grappling and jiu-jitsu. When I came here, I, I, I was so impressed with Master Che, and uh, I started work with Master Che last year, but he's, after one, after one year, year he's passed away. But I, I'm still continue with a couple guys here. He brings in a, a sort of toughness that I, that I remember from Master Che. So you, just, you just know he's tough. You just know that he's had to be hungry and be cold. And, and, you know, stuff, being in a ring and fighting and having somebody in front of him is not going to bother him. It's not going to give him anxiety, no matter who it is. My fighting now, I was always against. First time I was watching him when he had a world champion fight in the New Jersey a couple years ago. That was my first fight when I was watching him. And I was against that, but that's what he likes. And I feel I just have to accept because this is his life. If you live with some person, what I have to accept that. I'm not gonna lie. He's, he'd always he always talked about it in a little bit, and um, I never think he would because I just I just thought he was getting up there in age. And but when I heard he was gonna take a fight, I mean, it wasn't really shocked about it. I was like, I didn't actually realize. I'm like, wow, that's my dad walking into the ring when he was actually walking out to the fight. When he first said he wanted to take a fight, uh, I talked to the promoter as his coach and said, this guy wants a fight. He weighs 260. 56 years old, and we find him a fighter. So the promoter came back with a person that I already know, I've already seen him fight. He's a young man, he's huge, he's super athletic, super strong, good wrestler. I mean, he, he had a lot over Milad, and, and it was gonna be a very, very difficult fight for Milad to take. I didn't think he'd get in a ring and actually like put up a match. Um, I didn't get to, go, I, didn't, I didn't want to go to it, because I just, I remember when I was little, I'd see him like on the, just doing like little fights and stuff. Um, never really a fan of it because I didn't want him to get hurt. He's my dad, so, so I never, I didn't attend the recent one either. Um, just, I always thought I hoped his brain would be okay. But. He's a good fighter. He knows what it takes to win, and he's, and he's, um, he's gonna try to win. He's been training very hard. If he doesn't get tired and his opponent gets tired, he's gonna win the fight. I'm, I'm always thinking about win, but I have respect my, for my opponent. He's a big puncher, big punch, heavy punch. Yeah, fight is fight. Yeah, experience, experience is so important. That is my, my the best weapon. My, my opponent, he is youngest, 30 years.
and move fast. Hitting hard ones. He's hitting harder than before. But you're taking it. We did very well, but he survived. I have respect for my opponent. He's he's really good guy. Good fight. I have now a couple injuries. If it's my hands good, I will back. I can do better, no? I'm proud for my children. They are proud for me.